guys. Just into my first, basically third of this training setup. So we're in a nine minute kind of cruise at 130 watts. Just did three three minute intervals of 205, 230, and 250 on the watts using Zwift. And I just want to take this uh, minute to talk about kind of my five top things I do to make cycling more enjoyable. Other than like creature comforts, like up here things, kind of like mind hacks we'll call them. So for me, number one, which I've found so far for indoor training is Zwift. Zwift, man, such a killer platform. It's like playing video games but working out at the same time. Can't say enough, but <clears throat> Great way to do workouts. If you want to just go ride, there's big group rides, there's races on Zwift, all sorts of cool stuff. Number two, still indoor training, is this right here. A good old movie. So I'm watching The Martian. Great movie. Seen it a bunch. Really funny lines in it. Interesting, kind of keep your mind off of it. Number three, for me, this can be indoor or outdoor. If you don't have Zwift, and let's say you don't have a setup like where you have a TV, you have a laptop and you're just doing trainer sessions you're an animal by the way if you're just doing that music indoors rock both headphones just rock out submerge yourself into the music it helps so much get your mind away from the pain on the road though for me because i use one headphone in my right ear listen to all sorts of types of music hold 90s hip-hop some alternative stuff from the 2000s it's my decade when I kind of grew up in high school and all that stuff. A great one for outdoors, which I found kind of halfway through my road cycling before I kind of fell off the bandwagon, was group rides. Finally got a good group of guys, funny enough, a lot older than me, but way more powerful than I was, which was crazy. I mean, my one guy was a student of mine when I was teaching, and he would just slaughter me. Like 45 years old, I was 28 at the time, he just worked me like a bad habit. Group rides. You can ride so much faster, so much further. It's fun having people with you. Even if it's not a group, get a buddy. But one of my most helpful things I found while in the trainer was what Zwift hooks to after you're done riding, and that's Strava. I like it for the competition. I'm a competitive guy. I'm not the strongest guy, but I like to see that I'm, that I'm getting faster and that I'm moving up in the leaderboards. I don't have a king of the mountain yet. Hopefully one day. Hopefully gonna try to get on a mountain bike. Um, the competition on the road bike market's a little steep for kings of the mountain, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get there because that's the whole point, it's getting faster. So for me, Strava's number five and it kind of goes along with another thing which might be like 5.5 is have a plan when you go out. Like, I wanna ride in 10 miles, okay? Five miles out, five miles back. You know what you put out so you know you, what you've got in the tank. I don't like to do like exploratory rides because I find that I'll burn myself out really fast and then I'll end up cutting the ride short and I feel like I, I wussed out and you know it, when you push beyond that point then you don't have a good ride because you might make some mistakes especially on a mountain bike and wreck which you don't want. Have a certain mileage count you want to go to, a trail you want to hit, maybe just that trail so you can go get like a PR on it. Just that one trail maybe. Like you don't have to go and try to slay every trail you go on. I, I do that sometimes and then I get to the trail that I really wanted the PR on and my legs are gone and I don't have the energy. So those are my, my top fivers to keep you going. Here's the that, get back to Zwift, cruising here. Oh man, I need to ramp up my energy. I'm not gonna gold star this because I've been chatting. And then we'll get back into the old Martian here. Alrighty, peace out guys. We'll see you on the trails.